Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to RGH Tech TV and today let's see the tips and tricks part 2 with Moto G 3rd generation. Uh, so in my first video I missed out on a couple of things. So uh, I'll be covering some things which are regarding security like smart lock and screen pinning. So I'll be showing a demo of screen pinning also. And uh, we can also change the default uh, SMS application which I'll show you how to do. And let's see later on let's see the keyboard shortcuts. And uh, I'll show you a demo of uh, the new FM radio application. And uh, let's see how to convert any video into slow motion. By default, this phone uh, uh, can record videos uh, in uh, at slow motion in uh, 720p HD. Uh, but uh, I'll show you how to convert any videos into slow motion. And uh, we'll also see the hyperlapse or the time lapse, how to do that uh, with a video sample, right? And uh, later on, let's see some of the miscellaneous things also. Uh, but before that, I'll show you how to add customizations on Moto G 3rd generation. So it's uh, it comes with the stock Android experience and some people out there do not like it. They want more customizations, more gestures, uh, they want more theme support and uh, which we can do uh, in the uh, Moto G 3rd generation and I'll show you how to do that. For example, let's see the demo and later on I'll show you how to do and uh, where can you get all these in, all these information, right? So uh, you can swipe in anywhere, uh, even in in from the between of the screen, and you can get to the notification tray, right? This is a cool trick. And uh, swipe up, and you can get Google Now, which is a very good thing. Now you can double tap to launch a camera application directly from uh, whatever screen you are in, right? And uh, you can ha have these widgets here like a small flash widget by which you can turn the uh, flashlight on on or off you can toggle between them which is a good thing and later on uh, you have a search bar if you see here so if you uh, uh, you can search anything here it will search the phone it will search the web and it will also search the contacts which is a good thing so think uh, let's search something like uh, if you type in R, then you'll get all these you know, uh, uh, applications and contacts, and you can search for web also. I think I'm searching for some game which is installed on my uh, phone. Then I can search for Frontline Commando, and as you can see, it'll just filter out and sort out the content for you, which is a good thing. Now let's go to application tray, and in the stock launcher, we couldn't do much with application tray. Uh, now here you can sort the applications. Uh, from A to Z and uh, we can also see as you can see it's it's been uh, sorted from A to Z and we can have uh, the list view if you don't want the grid view and it will be sorted from A to Z which is a quite good thing right so it's easier to find the applications than before and uh, you also have a search here search bar here so you can search for the applications which is a good thing uh, you have a dock here through which you can uh, add effects to uh, the home screens. So I have added the cube effect. You can add uh, uh, the uh, slide effect or the card effect, right? Whichever you feel necessary. You can also add some filters. So I have added this uh, Lomo filter, which will actually uh, give the black effect uh, on the edges, as you can see, which will give you give it a good look. Actually, you can add this light uh, effect or light filter, right? Which is a good thing. And later on, let's go to transparency. You can increase the transparency of the uh, applications on the home screen, as you can see. Now, the thing is, how do we get these gestures? How do, you, how do we get these new functionalities? Uh, you have a launcher called as Atom Launcher, which you can download for free from Play Store, so which will add these new functionalities and gestures. This launcher is pretty bare bones actually uh, when you first see it but you can change the icons you can change the wallpaper you can change themes you can do much more things uh, which uh, which is really hard to believe so uh, i'll just show you some shortcuts some of the tips uh, which you can do with this launcher so press and hold and uh, we have the theme settings here as you can see so we can switch between themes so example if you want to go for this theme then you can change the icon packs here and uh, so see, I have installed around two to three themes and all the icon packs of those themes are available here. So if I want with default uh, default icon themes, uh, icon packs, I can go with that or with this one or with this one or with this one. So let's go with black mechanical and let's try and apply this theme over here. And uh, once you hit the home button, as you can see, the wallpaper changes and all the icons changes and it gives you some very good look like uh, uh, like the Iron Man theme, right? You also have separate Iron Man theme and you have uh, many more themes supported here. So you can check it out if you're interested. Uh, 
and uh, now next off let's see uh, you have something called as uh, uh, launcher settings go to this and now the important thing is gestures so you can go to gestures and uh, I have kept double tap to open camera and uh, I have ta uh, kept swipe uh, swipe up on the screen to get the Google now and I have swipe I have kept swipe down uh, on the screen to get uh, notifications so you can also uh, get the new gesture like a two finger swipe or a two finger double tap and uh, you have many more things which you can try out which is a good thing and uh, we can customize the home screen we can customize the application tray we can customize the dock and much more settings which are available here so go go through this and explore and if you feel like i should make a separate video on this please let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll be happy to make a video on that one now you might ask like how i added this flash uh, uh, icon here which we can toggle between so for that you can go to uh, uh, atom action right and see as you can see you have many settings here by which you can choose like uh, i'll add this show not notifications toggle here so you click and it will be added so if you click on this you'll get the you'll get to the notification tray directly which is a good thing now another good thing with this launcher is you can get some gestures and functionalities from the Nova launcher uh, which is a good thing now see uh, swiping down i can go to notifications but with uh, Nova launcher you can directly go to uh, quick toggles that is this screen so i'll show you how to do how to get this uh, on this uh, uh, launcher itself so firstly you have to install Nova launcher and uh, uh, let's go to launcher settings and uh, let's go to gestures now i have kept swipe down to uh, show the notifications now what you can do is you can click on this and you can go to uh, shortcuts so once you have installed a nova launcher you'll get something called as nova action uh, so click on this and through this what we can do is we can directly go to uh, we can check this option here expand quick settings and with that what we can do is and now you can swipe anywhere on the screen and you can go directly to quick toggles as you can see so, which is a very handy thing and i believe that this will improve your user experience on uh, uh, Moto G third generation. So now let's move on to other tips and tricks. So before that, I'll change this launcher. Let's go to home. So this uh, icon here will not appear until you install a launcher. So I have installed a couple of launchers here. As you can see, you can try out these also. They are also very good. So now uh, let's shift to uh, Google now launcher. So, so now let's see some other tips here. Uh, so firstly, let's see uh, some security features. So let's go to settings. Let's put this settings on to this page. Let's go to settings and uh, let's go to uh, security. In security, you have something called as a smart lock. So through this, what you can do is you can uh, unlock uh, the phone uh, with the trusted devices like uh, uh, a Bluetooth watch or Bluetooth uh, car system or NFC sticker, which is quite useful and very handy. And uh, you can also unlock this phone by using the trusted places, right? Uh, it means it will not lock uh, your phone uh, when you are at this place. Or you can also unlock this by using face, but uh, this is trusted face is not that secure as pin or password, right? You, you can also unlock your phone by using trusted voice. And we have on-body detection by which you can unlock uh, uh, while it's uh, in your hand or in your pocket right so which is a good thing now apart from this we have something called a screen pinning so let's turn on this and i'll show you the demo of this now think that you have given your phone to your friend and you don't want him to uh, move out of this browser right so what you can do is first you should open the application and uh, uh, bring it to this multitasking tray and from here you can pin the screen so as you can see uh, once the screen is pinned he cannot go back or home or he cannot perform any activities except on uh, except on the option of being in the browser itself now to get back to normal mode what you can do is you can press and hold the back button and the overview button the multitasking button at the same time so as you can see the screen is unpinned and next off let's see some of the keyboard shortcuts here but we've, before that i'll show you how to change the default messaging application to hangouts so for that let's go to settings we will go to uh, more settings and in here you have something called as default sms application so click on this and you can change your default messaging application to hangouts right so for the time being let's keep it to messaging and uh, let's if you go to messaging i'll show you some of the tips with the keyboard so actually if you're in india uh, you have uh, 
they have added some new keyboard called as Hinglish, uh, which is a mix of Hindi and English. So you have you can see some icon here. If you tap on that, you can choose between the keyboards. Uh, why I why I prefer uh, this English keyboard is because it supports swipe to type, and uh, this uh, English keyboard does not support type uh, swipe to type. But the, the good thing with this keyboard is you can type in Hindi, right? Uh, or else you can also type in English, which is a good thing. And you'll, you also have this number row on top. And if you don't want that, you can also uh, uh, write with the handwriting. It's also supported there, as you can see. Uh, let's shift back to English keyboard. So with the good thing with this is it has a swipe to type, which will make your work quite easier. But the thing is, uh, you don't have that number row on top. Now, to turn the mobile data on on this device, we have to perform some extra steps, which was not present earlier. So they, there has been one step which has been added uh, now. So uh, the thing is, we'll have to go to notification tree. We'll have to go to quick toggles, click on uh, this icon, and then go to mobile data, and then turn on the mobile data. So what if we can directly go to this screen uh, without doing that circus? Uh, so by just tapping one icon. So I'll show you how to get that. So what you have to do is, uh, uh, we'll add some widget here. We we'll go to widgets, and uh, as you can see, we have this widget called a setting shortcut. So let's put this onto the home page, right? And now uh, let's select what we want now, right? We want data usage, right? So let's click this, and it's done. Now click this data usage icon, and another click will uh, take you to this screen where you can turn the mobile data on, which is just a two step process. Which is a very good thing. Now let's see the FM radio application on this device. So this can be downloaded on any motor phones. It's not like on exclusive to this phone. And the good thing is uh, you can play the FM uh, without uh, plugging in your headphones, which is a very good thing. For that, you'll have to go to settings and turn on the first option. So play the play with the earphones unplugged. But the thing is, uh, there will be interruptions and you uh, sometimes there will be disturbances. And another good thing with this uh, application is you can record uh, the songs. Uh, and you can set the storage location to SD card or internal memory, which is a good thing. So now let's see how to get the slow motion videos. By default, this uh, phone can record via slow motion videos at 720p HD. But the good thing is, now with the gallery application, the inbuilt gallery application, you can convert the normal videos also into slow motion. For that, what you have to do is you have to select uh, the video which you want to uh, make it in slow motion, uh, select the video, and uh, you have uh, the extendable menu button at the right top corner. Click on that, and you have slow motion edit. So once you hit this up, this uh, option, so you can choose which part of the video can be in slow motion. And if you want to want it to be complete in slow motion, then you can select a complete video into slow motion. So as you can see, or else you can only select a part which you want it to be in slow motion, which is a very handy and very good feature. Now let's see the opposite of slow motion that is uh, hyperlapse or the time lapse. For that, you will have to download this application called as uh, uh, it's from Microsoft uh, uh, Corporation Limited. It's a hyperlapse uh, application, so you can find it for free uh, in the Play Store. So you can download it and you can record the videos in fast motion. Uh, so you can see a video sample now. So that's it guys, if you have enjoyed this video or if this video is helpful to you, hit that like button and also see my part 1 tips and tricks with Moto G 3rd generation for which I'll leave the links in the description box and also share this video with your friends and family. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and most importantly, thanks for watching.